Hey guys, I hope everybody is doing great this morning. So today we're going to talk about posture correctors. We've been getting asked about these over the last several months and it's now finally one of these exploding topics on the internet. So I figured I would jump on here real quick and give you a rundown of some of the different types and whether it's worth it to spend your money on these things or not. So number one, we're just going to talk about the ones that look like a brace. There's several different types. They can help pull your shoulders back. Let me see if I can flip this around real quick. I'll pull it up. So we're talking like these type things here. Um, I'll get turned back around here. So those things, um, they're not actually that great. What they actually do is basically force you to be upright and defacilitate your core musculature that you should actually be using to hold yourself upright in the first place. So not the greatest idea. You actually should be doing um, some postural correction exercises. The mirror image exercises work phenomenal. If you guys want to check those out, YouTube them. They are pretty freaking sweet. The next one that we get into are these ones that do a version of stimming. So this one is called the Upright Go. I'm gonna turn the camera back around here so you can see it. Um, oh, hey, we got a trial offer, awesome. What it is is you basically put this little signal transducer on what chiropractors would call your CT junction, so your lower neck, upper portion of the upper back. It's an app sync device, so it's tied in with your phone. And every time you start to slouch, this thing gives you a cue to actually prop your posture upright. I think it's really super cool. Overall, I don't really think it's gonna be super effective because I just don't picture people wanting to basically stick this thing on with self-adhesive tape to their back to want to correct a problem. I mean, we hear it all the time when we put rock tape or kinesio tape or KT tape on people, how irritating it is. And sometimes we do that for posture correction. Um, just don't think that thing's going to be super viable in the long run of things. I'm sure it'll work for some people, but realistically, when we see people with postural deviations. Now that's where our software comes into play. We use the Kinetisense software and it will pick up any and all of your postural deviations, which is pretty wicked awesome. And you know, chiropractors being skeleton people. If we find a postural abnormality, every time we've seen a postural abnormality, there's a structural change, AKA the curves of the spine are not what they're supposed to be. So you can't really correct a spinal curve problem by trying to overpower it with muscle. You can strengthen what you already have there, but you can't correct these things. The actual way that you correct an abnormal spinal curve, I'll show you these guys. Number one, adjustments when you need them and where you need them, which brings us into the whole EMG and thermal scans that we do here. But let's say we're talking about a neck, you would actually use what are, what's called a denaroll. It actually uses extension traction and these things are proven to work. They're the most efficient thing I have ever seen for correcting posture. And what it'll do as long as you have the ability to achieve this, it's gonna get you up above a 20 degree curve to your neck. Now, if you look at the research, a normal cervical curve is 34 to 45 degrees with the perfect curve being 42 degrees. They know if you have below a 20 degree curve in your neck, you have chronic neck pain. And there is a whole host of nervous system issues that show up when you have abnormal curves in your neck. It is pretty stinking crazy. That, that's something we see all the time. Now, some people might ask, well, what if it's a low back? Hey, they've got you covered for the low back too. Um, these things are all used. Hey, Kaylee, um, 
used in different areas of the spine and you actually have to go through and measure the disc spaces and the curves of the area of the spine to figure out where to actually place these things to help correct your posture. It's pretty awesome. It's definitely not something we would recommend whatsoever. Um, somebody trying to get on Amazon, sometimes you see people selling used ones or chiropractors selling these things online. It's insane. Like, oh, hey kids. <laughs> My kids jumped on the live and they're saying hi. Um, it's not something you should buy off the internet and use yourself. You actually need a specifically trained chiropractor to actually size these things. Yes, there are different sizes and to actually place it or you could really screw yourself up. That is our hot take on postural, postural correction. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you shoot them over to us in a message and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Have a great day. See ya.